I've got to admit, I'm someone through most of my life who's never paid much attention to mutes. Probably like a lot of guys, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all interested in the horn, and most of all, I'm interested in the music. I'm playing away, and a mute's just a thing stick in the end, you get one, whatever, you know, as long as it fits in it, it's fine. Until, until a year ago, when I got uh, my beautiful wooden mute, and I'd never seen such a thing. I mean, as soon as I saw it, I went, this is beautiful. But then I played it. And we all know, like, wood sounds good when it's a double bass or a guitar or a violin. I just never thought about it for a mute, because I've never thought about mutes much. I mean, they're just, you know, they're this metal thing you stick in there, whatever that other ones are, they're made out of. And uh, as soon as I got this, I could hear the wood in the sound, and suddenly it was a sound I wanted to use, not a sound I have to put in because the music said. So when I'm just playing jazz gigs now and I have complete freedom in what I want to do, I often stick the mute in now for that sound. Oh, you would? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's way better at making mutes than doing gags, trust me. Oh. <laughs> but, um, and the, uh, the other cool thing about it, of course, I mean, the main thing is the sound. It just sounds great. They look beautiful. And when people come up to me and go, wow, oh, what is that mute? I can say, Terry made this for me himself. And yes, I did. These two hands. Yeah. Which is amazing. They are a thing of beauty and a joy to behold. Thank you, James Morrison. <laughs> Thanks, Terry.